today i'll be talking about a realistic problem and we all have it around us i face it every day you all counter it every day but it is so bizarre that such a hazardous monster that is breaking havoc on a physical well being goes unnoticed now you are all wondering that what is it and what am i talking about how can such a harmful thing inevitably present around all of us go unnoticed yes hard to believe but true to fact this is happening to all of us in the form of microplastics now let me tell you what microplastics are from the name itself we can infer that these are small plastics well microplastics are the plastic particles less than 5 mm and up to 0.1 micrometer in diameter and due to their extremely small sizes they are not at all detected or filtered by the current water purification systems and thus are largely present in our drinking water now before i go into the details of these microplastics i would like to share how i was first introduced to them so it was back in about if i am not wrong 2018 when i first read about microplastic contamination in a newspaper article which stated its harmful effects on the marine life ocean and city water and how it pollutes the natural habitats intrigued i surfed the internet later to know more about this term and i was shocked to see what all ill effects these microplastics had on the environment and us and what was even more shocking to know that we humans are consuming these microplastics with a drinking water would you imagine that the most basic necessity of our life is contaminated with microplastics so initially i saw this jopardus problem as an opportunity of getting into various science fairs so i started to find a way to filter out these microplastics from the drinking water and in my research i came about a micro algae called rhodomonas selina which has a property of sticking with these microplastics and i thought that this principle could be used to filter out the microplastics so my procedure was when the contaminated water would enter through the inlet the microplastics in this algae the microplastics in the water would stick with this algae and form aggregates and at the outlet we would get microplastic free clear water so this was an easy and effective solution to the devastating problem of microplastics and it did not cost much to make the entire system and mass production would further cut down the costs but then i thought that it was important to prove to people that microplastics are really present in our drinking water and we are consuming them so for that i started to work on a quantification and detection system i came out a dye called nile red and it is used as a staining agent for various lipids polymers and proteins so what my what i did was i took water in a beaker added microplastics to it manually and then dissolved the dye solution in it after some time i took this apparatus in a dark room and illuminated it with uv light and what i could observe was various small fluorescent spots which actually signified the microplastics and then i had to just take an image and upload it in my web app the web app analyzes the image and give us the estimated number of microplastics in the sample and by this way we can judge the true quality of our drinking water so now i did some tests to ve to verify my idea for the detection and quantification system i tested microplastic samples of various daily use plastics like pvc pet and polythene and got affirmative results for the filtration system too i i tested the pre and post filtration outputs and got a mean filtration rate of about 85% so now that i have developed a solution to this destructing problem i started to apply in science fairs the very first fair i applied to i bagged a silver but i was disappointed that i did not qualify for the next round but then i knew that i had to work a bit more on my project so i did some more tests and built a statistical proof for my data and then after much hard work and many other science fairs this project led me to be the part of the international science and engineering fair and represent team india at that fair which was an absolute honor and a proud moment for me thank you thanks a lot but after all these presentations discussions and the science fairs i noticed one thing in common 
most people were unaware of the problem of microplastics. And many had heard this name for the first time. And when I told them that these microplastics are present in our drinking water and are harming our life, they were all absolutely terrified. They are bewildered to know that such a harmful thing exists in our drinking water and we are consuming it. Now, talking about some statistics, about 52,000 microplastics are consumed by a person in just a year, which is equivalent to a credit card per week. Many studies have shown that the tap water around the world is highly contaminated with microplastics, with an average threshold contamination of about 10 to 15 particles per liter. These microplastics accumulate in our body and may cause respiratory problems, cardiovascular diseases, and yes, even lethal forms of cancer. And these microplastics are not only dangerous for the humans, but they have entangled the lives of marine animals and wildlife too. So now when I went deep into research and tried to find out about our exposure to these microplastics, I was literally taken aback. We are in a continuous exposure to microplastics almost right through the beginning of our daily routine. Starting our day with a cup of tea, like we all do, and using a plastic sieve to filter it, our synthetic clothes, our toothbrushes, our carry bags, the art and craft material used by children, beads, makeup tools, and literally everything exposes us to a large amount of microplastics. Rest assured, I can bet upon it that we are in continuous exposure to microplastics and leaving apart the major contamination to the drinking water. Just a few days back, I read a report published in a national daily which stated that a new kind of microplastic is now even found in the, in the plastic toys of small children, their plastic nets and their synthetic bed covers and etc. And it proved that these children are prone to microplastic ingestion by simply sitting at their homes and playing with the toys, apart from their drinking and eating stuff. Now after all these experiences I've had, my point of view has entirely changed. Earlier, I was just determined to make a science project and apply in various spheres. But now I wish to target the problems the world is facing. And this must be the motive of each one of us. Solving the global problems using simple and effective innovations is what will help to reform the world. Now to counter the problem of microplastics, the first step should be to reduce the use of plastics itself, as these plastics only break up into tiny, tiny particles and eventually end up in our body. The second, the second step should be to spread awareness. And this is only possible when all the concerned organizations and authorities come forward to aware a large group of people and then educate them on the ill effects these microplastics have on our body. And then we all have to work together to find a solution to this problem. And not only this problem, but many other such problems existing out there. If only we all will be passionate about doing something extra, will we be able to solve the greatest global problems. And for that, you need not be an expert or a super rich. And believe me, I was not both of them. But just a crazy and curious enthusiast, and you will surely run on the right path. Now the problem of microplastics is not confined to a particular locality, society, a community, or even a country. But these are a global threat as a whole. Sometimes it really takes a toll on my thoughts when I think about our future generations. And what environment are we going to pass to them? Is it an environment full of plastic pollution that they are going to inherit? Is that what they deserve? So taking this stage as a big opportunity to deliver my thoughts, I request each and everyone on this planet to do their bit in plastic reduction, plastic pollution reduction, which will automatically reduce the damages dangers and health risks of microplastics. Thank you.